This is my intro video. We're doing a Magnatech Power Plus. Uh, this particular model is a 6332. Um, we're going to re be replacing it with a Power Dynamics. 4650, uh, sorry, 4645, which is the 45 amp version. So you got your breaker panel here on the left. You've got your fuse panel here on the right. And underneath here uh, is the converter. So we're going to pull these four screws out. And this cover will come off. Now that the panel's off, we have to remove these two screws. This will give us access to the AC side and behind. Uh, and then we have to remove these four screws here. That, that'll loosen up the um, converter itself. And then there's going to be some screws up here we have to loosen to get the... Um, there's two screws here uh, to loosen off to get the fuse panel off. I believe this is your positive. There's your two battery connectors that go here. So we're going to unscrew this and see what's in behind. We're going to take a picture first. Okay, so we've got the AC portion off. This is our control breaker right here. Now, right now, my um, AC is off in the garage. I got a 30 amp, uh, 30 amp wire to this thing. Fucking flies. Um, so we've got a couple points here. Here's your neutral going to your bus bar. That's this guy here. And then this breaker has a feed here. Uh, two feeds, actually. This is the way they say to do it. Um, in this particular instance, the converter is going directly to the breaker and a GF uh, ground fault circuit uh, for the camper right there is powered off of that breaker. So what we need to do now is um, pull this breaker out. Just pull down on it and it'll fall out. And uh, we need to loosen off that, I guess... I don't know if I'd call it a nut, but a bolt uh, to loosen off the, the power feed um, for this guy. As you can see, it's going down to feed our uh, old unit. And then you've got this uh, white wire you got to disconnect, which is also coming up through here as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so I basically just uh, cut this off. I'll strip it, tie them together, and then... When we're ready to go back into the breaker, we will. Next part's the fuse panel. Um, these here are your, your battery connections. Um, and in behind the panel, you can see where these uh, two wires here, you got your red and your blue, which I'm assuming are uh, positive and negative. And there's a white. So I'm gonna have to read up what these three wires are for. Um, I'm not sure what that blue wire does, but it should say in the manual. So we've got the battery feeds right here. So now I've disconnected. I know I'm doing pause and work, pause and work. That blue wire I've disconnected from the, uh, got to get it from the backside. So that's the blue wire. That blue wire goes down to your old converter. So say pull this out of here so that's out now and then you're gonna have a red and a white wire that all feed down to this old converter right there we're gonna untie those and pull them through the bottom so now I'm gonna disconnect all these wires so we're going purple yellow blue red brown skip I guess that's just a free 15. And then we're going to go the thicker orange, green, smaller, and then put them into the new panel. All right, so there's, I've undone the four screws and pulled the entire unit out of the camper. And I pulled out the fuse panel. So the new fuse panel, these are more of a low current type fuse, the first two, and then the rest are high. So I'm going to work from this side over um basically to uh rehook us up should have enough lead if not there's tons of lead in there you can always pull through there's a grommet there it's just kind of cinched you have to pull 
um, more lead through for the negative and positive of the battery as well because uh, they have to go as you can see these are old battery positions these are the new there's your battery negative your battery positive so they're gonna have to come out the positive is just short and the negative is very short so we're gonna have to do some pulling of the wires we'll do that in a minute so I followed the sequence basically from my old to the new uh, looking at pictures I went across and rewired it the exact same way so now the label is the same way instead of one two three it'll be three four five like just continue left to right there you go. So now I gotta. I've extended my wires here. I had to pull this guy out through the back, and then it's got a like a compression lock. I had to unlock it and then feed a bit more wire through to reach the top of this panel. So that's what I'm gonna do now is put the wire in. All right. So now I've got my wires back in. Uh, but before I connect everything back up, I'm gonna leave that fuse panel back a bit just so I can feed the wire from the new converter up through which is right here so we're gonna get the new converter in place here's your new converter this is the power I don't know whatever the name of the company is PD uh, 4645 it's progressive not power progressive dynamics is the company there's your AC side you got a green so that's your ground white neutral black hot into the breaker and then on this other side, you've got your negative, uh, which is white. We'll go into this guy here. And then your black positive, well, is your converter positive into here? Right there. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get this in and feed everything through. Okay, so we've got our new box in the bottom screwed in. Still have to do the um, one hook up there and mount the panel. And then uh, just these three wires, uh, which will take no time. And then uh, we'll plug her in. All right, so we got our black into our breaker. We got our ground going into the ground bus and the neutral going in at the bottom where the old one came out. Wires are pulled through. Everything's bolted in. We've got our wires connected. We got positive to the battery, positive to the converter. Or sorry, negative to the battery, negative to the converter. We've got uh, the converter positive, uh, which is our black wire, um, which is fed from down here. And then we got our red going to our battery. And uh, I'm going to bolt this thing back up. Uh, there's one other thing that we did buy for this thing. And this is called the, um, the Wizard, the Telepower Remote Pendant. So I'm going to mount this thing on the outside and feed it up through. Um, if you do buy the one that they suggest on Amazon.ca, you have to cut the ends off. And it has like an RJ11 uh, uh, phone end. You have to cut the supplied cable and solder it, which I did. And this plugs into the bottom unit. So when we fire it up, this pendant should give us an indication of what the charge level is. Be aware in the kit, uh, now that the bottom's on, they give you smaller screws because the case bottom has smaller screws. There's our little IntelliPower Wizard doo doo, and uh, we'll be able to see. Now, this, com this unit comes with this built in. This is just a remote unit to watch the battery status because you can't really see it if the cover's on. So, this thing should just come with it, but they sell it as an add on option for like 20 bucks. All right, time to go hook the battery up and see what it charges at. All right, our unit's on. Um, this light, I forget what it means. Uh, full on blink, normal mode, short flash storage mode. Press and hold to cycle through. Guess that's in boost mode, full on. Maybe not. Short flash. And see what this does. There, now it's back to back to normal mode. 
All right, so shore power's on. Let's see what we get for charging. And I bring my meter back here. I did not. All right, I'll clean everything up and go grab my meter. So we got our progressive dynamics 4645 hooked up. Ignore the leads are backwards, but the fluke doesn't care. So we're charging at 13.65 on a normal charge, which is what we expect to see. I tested everything out inside. I'm getting my 12 volt feed to wherever I need it. Yeah, there. Tested out the lights. We're getting light. We got radio in standby mode. And because we lost power, we lost all our memory. So we're going to have to retune everything. But uh, here in Ottawa, we listened to Shea 106. Yes. I am still living with your there we go. Channel 1. That's all we care about. All right, good. That's a wrap.